Oh, I just stubbed my toe. I just stubbed my gut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to stop <laughs> laughing. Hold on. <sighs> Welcome to the Cock and Block with Josh Co. and Matt Ben. Play our intro music. Alright, we're back, and this is our second attempt to film a video about the Just So-Sos, because we had some sound issues last time, thank you to our producer, and <laughs> um, we're, we're, we're going to talk about these shoes because they're kind of a big craze right now, you see a lot of advertisements <coughs> for them online, uh, on Amazon, and uh, just wanted to let you know our thoughts on them. We have uh, four different colors we've tried so far, um, as you see, the black and red, black and white, green and yellow. I had the tan and orange ones, which I thought looked spectacular, and everyone else thought looked pretty suspect. They looked good. Well, you guys openly mocked me. When, when no, I they were them. awful. <laughs> They were bad. I love... Those were almost the one... I'm the first to buy the Just So So's. It, it was kind of that grandpa tan. It wasn't like that It was a cool weird... It was an... It, it, it looked better in the advertisement. It, it, I mean, if they would have had Velcro straps on them, that may have been it the only just sealed thing the deal. that could have been worse. It would have been perfect. <laughs> Anyways, they were actually too small for me. That's the main reason I sent them back. Not because they had heckled me about it. Um, That's an important aspect of right, the shoes, which we right. will touch on. For so sure. my size. normal size is about 10.5 to 11, so I bought 10.5 because they had 10.5 and 11.5. And there was no 11s when I bought them. So uh, I went with 10.5. It was too small. I would say if you're going to buy these shoes, go a half size up if you think that they may Absolutely. be a little too tight fitting on you. Uh, I went with 11 and a half instead of my next purchase. They didn't purchase. have 11, right? They didn't have there 11. There was no 11 available. Um, I think they make them. I just don't think they were available to me at that time. So the 11 and a half fit perfectly. Go a half size up. You'd be, you'd be good. So let's talk a little bit about the features of the shoe. Um, the the heel is a bit strange. If you can see now, these are super worn out, but that's one of the things let's we want to review. You can yeah, let's talk about the age. These are the oldest. Yeah, followed closely by these. You got them like a week later, if yeah. That. And then uh, these are the newest. These are grand, and these these are the newest. Yeah, they these are my sons. Worn the least. Right. Um. Yeah. The the sole is super important because believe it or not, this is actually a shoe that is. Can, first, I mean, this is like a, a budget shoe. You know, mm -hmm. this is just like an off-brand sort of whatever. It's so good that it's being replicated. Right. Believe it or not. So we have real Just So-So's. They're not actually... Just So-So's not the brand. It's just sort of the... Um, colloquial term for it, I guess. Yeah, I think, I think the, the, the name, name of the... It. The name of the company is um, Amigo? Um, um, Amigo or Amigo or something like that, Amigo? right? Amigo? Maybe right. something like that. It's a Chinese company and they make these. And I think they, it might they, be from Vietnam. I think you might be right. I yeah. think you might be right. Well, you know, check it out. I mean, your research is probably as good uh, as ours. Check the comments because somebody's corrected us. Yeah, someone probably corrected us. But either way, right. um, we weren't able to find definitively much about the company that makes these, which is why I think maybe in the United States they're able to, like, like pirate the design somehow. Yeah, yeah. Because I've seen some that look like Yeezys and the bottoms were, like, flat. It's actually... Kind of, it's super interesting for a shoe that's just some weird Asian brand. We'll call it, you know. Um, somebody's already already stole this. Somebody's already stolen the design right. and is because replicating it in a much cheaper manner. Right. So there are shoes that look exactly like this. This sort of lattice work is different. They're solid on the bottom. They they have like he said like that Yeezy, and they're fake. And they're garbage, and they wear out, and they're not comfortable. We've seen all yeah, we've the reviews seen a lot of reviews on them that people say if you see that version of the flat sole that avoid doesn't it. have this sort of avoid horseshoe it. shape, avoid those because these are the better ones. Um, from uh, what I've, FYI, it, it seems, and I could be wrong. It seems like if you are buying these shoes, if you buy them off Amazon, yeah. you're good. But all of the reviews that I've seen with somebody having the fake ones have right. come from like Facebook. Oh. It's been advertised to them on, on Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. That's interesting. So um, beware if you see these shoes advertised on Facebook and you go... Yeah. Just, I would just go to Amazon. Just confirm it. Just go to Amazon. I wouldn't even... I would just go to Amazon, buy, type in Just So-So, 
Umi, Umigo, Umigo, something like that. U M Y I G O, I think. But you'll know by a couple things. A, the color options. Mm -hmm. If it's the legit shoe, there'll be like there's so many. There's so many ten different color options. options. There's there's many. The the foot will have this. It's very distinct. It's got these like grooves here where it separates, and then you've got this horseshoe shape. If it doesn't have that, don't buy it. If it does have that, I would say. It, then it's legit and they're good. So um, we do we'll both. We do both like them, and let's talk about what we like. So the horseshoe shape is something you feel on the bottom of your foot. It took me a while to get used to not having that pad that was just sort of like right on the ball of the heel, right. rather on the outside. Once I got used to it, I really liked it though. Um, it is odd at first. Your heel sort yeah. of feels like it drops into a, a, a bit, a little of bit a, of a groove, yeah, a gap or something. Um, yeah. And my son and I both, and I think you had said so as well, around the ball of your foot towards this area, yeah, the there's padding. padding on the inside that you're not really used to having padding like right there on your foot. It's kind of a horseshoe shape right there. It's yeah. Super pronounced. And I didn't like it at first, but now when I wear a different shoe that's not these, I usually wear Adidas. We usually talk we about we're Adidas, Adidas guys. Yeah. We both wear Adidas. I almost prefer it. I'm, I miss it when yeah. I'm not wearing these. Yeah. We went this hike. We went hiking this weekend, and we both kind of put on our. Oh yeah. Our, yeah, I came back shoes. wishing I had worn my yeah, just so-so's, but and, they're not hiking shoes. And I'm sure both of our hiking shoes cost cost more than these. Yeah. Right? Oh, much more. <laughs> I don't yeah. mind it. The, and these they were, only, were not as comfortable. These were only forty for me. I think you guys you got yours for thirty nine. Uh, my hiking shoes were like 70, so. Same. Um, and I bought those hiking shoes like years ago. Yeah. Um, the bottoms of it, let's talk about how long they last. They're probably average. I would say they definitely took some wear on me. You could see that I have torn the heck out of these heels. Preface that by saying I don't wear these like a normal person. Right. I'm a very heavy person, and I wore these biking with my bicycle, and I have metal pedals with Absolutely. sharp edges, so it is torn, uh, you know, this quite badly. So you, that that's why that looks that way. Um, Matt, you haven't done as badly to your shoes. You're quite a bit lighter than me, and my son's, he's worn them normally, and this um, is what they look like. And, and I, I'd say we've... Most of our bike rides we've done together, so we've ridden about the same amount. But I do have <laughs> true. some. I do have some wear. We have the exact same pedals on our. Yeah, bike. we have the exact same bikes. We have the same bikes actually. So our pedals are very much steel grippy pedals. They're meant to be gripped. So yeah. I'm. I've worn a little bit out right there. Josh has worn out a little bit right there. My heels wearing. Well, I have a whole little section of um, flaps now. <laughs> But just like you said, it's no more than any other shoe. And actually, normal. after yeah. this last weekend wearing my Adidas, yeah, we went on a we went on a hike. Video to come, yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> these don't wear out any faster than my Adidas. Yeah, those are so worn no, out I, just from walking around. Yeah, them. your treads are gone. They're from gone. Those Adidas. These, they're no worse than any other shoe. Yeah. No worse than any other shoe. They wear out. No. All shoes wear um, out. My son's shoes have held up pretty did well. Did come with a defect, so it's good to say that. Right. The, the the top part here, which is not a tongue, it's not a real tongue. It's just yeah, sort of the, the, the top portion here. It did separate a little bit, um, but you know that was more of a defect. It wasn't necessarily because of wear. We could have sent them back, but my son was like, "Don't bother. I don't care. Yeah. I like them." So it's not a design flaw. It looks like an actual. Oh, just a simple defect in, yeah. in stitching. So, I would say that overall, um, the wear and tear on it and the quality of the of the shoe, pretty good, average. Um, oh, and one last thing that we should talk about is the strap. The just so so strap yeah. is one of the most identifiable things on the shoe. Absolutely, it goes all the way around. And what do you think of it? You know, it's good when I'm uh, just grabbing the shoe to pull it on. I don't actually use it to pull the shoe on. I don't. I think that this little Your piece heel is a little bit better. Tucks that down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but uh, I like it. I think it's good. They're good shoes. Uh, any other thoughts? I think my the the two things I love the most about this shoe, um, aside from like aesthetics, I think it's a cool looking shoe. Yeah. Uh, when I bought these 
He made fun of me and told me he liked my John Deere shoes. Yeah, they do look like John Deere. But you can choose so many colors. There's so many colors. And yep. you guys made fun of me worse for the tan and orange the ones. The tan and orange were a lot worse. But I actually think these look sharp. And let's talk about your color because, if, as you can see, my son's worn his lightly, so they still look nice and black. My black ones, you can see dirt and dust all over inside the thing. The, the green? The greens really look good. They st- and I've You've got had the same amount of dirt I've had. If you look, and I actually was, a, it, I was filling up those oil jugs today. I got a little oil on my foot. <laughs> like oil I, now, I was, oil. Like so, I've actually hey. not been good to these shoes. They they stay looking pretty yeah. sharp. Yeah. So if you okay. want a color that's going to hide the uh, yeah, the, the dirt green and is, the marks, the green's pretty the green's darn good. Really good. The the black does what you think black you would usually do. Black shows dirt. Um, my, I think my favorite part of these shoes um, is the tongue, uh, yeah. or the lack thereof. There's no proper tongue. It's built more like a slipper. Yeah. There, meaning there's no like. That's definitely my favorite part. There's no uh, seam, right here. There's no separation in None. the shoe. It's, it's all one piece, and uh, I have a badly injured foot. Yeah, and you do. The top of my foot has really bad nerve damage, so I'm super sensitive to things on my right foot. And this, this, and, and I am massively. Um, uh, what's the word for that? I'm massively underselling that. I'll yeah. cut this part out. Right. I'm I'm massively. You're you're underselling it. That's I'm fine. underselling that. Yeah, like my foot is jacked, and this is so comfortable. It's the top. If if you care about the way your shoe sits on the top of your foot, this right. is the shoe for you. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's actually made for people who are like runners or walkers or people who work on their feet all day. They actually recommend this shoe for nurses, and I can see why. They yeah, definitely absolutely. have enough support and enough springiness to them to keep your feet from, from bruising or from getting too worn out. Um, and if you have sensitive feet like Matt's, they're good for that because they've got the stretchiness and the mesh mm-hmm. on top um, and the tongue that doesn't, isn't going to bind you or get in your way. So, yeah. My right foot is probably about an inch wider than my left foot. Mm-hmm. And these, these shoes, adjusted. this is now an inch wider than this one, and they've adjusted well. They're yeah. very comfortable. Um, so yeah, they're, they're pretty great. I'd yeah, say I would great. say give them a try. Um, get the real ones if you can find them from the uh, actual retailer and not just from the knockoffs. Make sure um, that the bottoms make sure the bottoms are right. Look like that. But yeah, I give uh, just so so shoes thumbs up. I give them a thumbs up. Absolutely, forty five bucks. All right, you're not gonna go wrong. Nope, that's what we think here at the Cock and Buck. Yep. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.